What's up? So these are all the fixes for the freaking, um, the freaking PlayStation not working thing. Um, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell to join the Petro squad. You may have seen three of my other videos on this subject. Now there's about three fixes, probably four. Um, we're going to start off with the issue that I didn't actually, um, I mean, I knew about this and I just didn't feel like uploading it because... I wanted to make sure that you guys could actually see it. The first one that uh, I always talked about was restoring the licenses to get the comments back. And that's pretty much all you had to do is restore the licenses and then click restore. And um, that'd be pretty much it. Um, the other one would be link with other services. Uh, you could try. You can try. Like pretty much unlinking your uh, YouTube and Twitch and then relinking it. So you can try unlinking that, signing back in. You can actually um, do that over the phone uh, with a with the mobile app if you if you want to figure out how to do that. You can uh, unlink it from um, the Google the Google thing and that'll work just as fine as uh, unlinking it from right here. Somebody else said that uh, you could try uninstalling the YouTube app on your thing and then reinstalling it so you guys could try that too and that's pretty much um the main fixes on how this will work these are not like 100% fixes because most of the time you have to wait for Sony to actually get their servers in place like it's really a networking issue on Sony's end like there's some kind of connection that's just not being that's not there for whatever reason you can, um, other things you can try, I saw this one, I never did this because I don't like messing with the, um, with the internet, if that makes sense, but you could try messing with the DNS, uh, servers, but this, that, that could mess up, I mean, I have no idea, the IP of the DNS server, changing it to Google's, uh, DNS or something, DNS IP to where it connects easier, now, if that makes sense to you, and you, if you want to try that, do that at your own risk. Um, let's see here. How you would do that is probably set up an internet connection, and you can't. And I can't do that during remote play, but but it'd be like the DNS servers, and that's another way to fix it. Um, I'm not saying do this, but you can buy another PS4, a PS4 Pro, because uh, I feel like it's really just an issue with older consoles. Let me know if you guys have an older console in the comment section below. I feel like once the PS5 comes out, like, I don't know what's going to happen with all this stuff. Now, there, now, now, and I'm going to be doing a lot of PS5 stuff on my channel, so feel free to subscribe for that and reactions and streams and stuff. If you guys want to, if, I mean, I'm, I, I mean, I'm pretty lit. Um, let's see, here, something, something's not activating. Something's frozen. I mean, I pretty much got everything that I need to say out of the way anyway, so. Something froze with my PS4. That's not good. Um... Here's the other thing you can do. Let's see here. Like, there's an app you can download to where, like, right now I'm screen recording on my computer without a capture card. Now, you can do this and uh, set up, like, comments on the side from YouTube. So, uh, there is a way to actually do that. And um, what it'll look like is something like this. If you were to do that, you would have to uh, download OBS open broadcast software, or Streamlabs OBS. And then, um, with Streamlabs OBS, is a lot easier. But if you were to just download OBS because, um, your computer isn't as, um, because I feel like Streamlabs OBS takes a lot more data, then what you would do, there it goes, uh, PS4 thing, just lost connection. Uh, what you would do is go to, um, press the plus button by sources at the bottom and you'll see it down by the mixer and then what you want to do is go to if you wanted to get the um the chat box up there you want to go to browser and then let's see here, i'm just trying to make sure you guys have all the information possible for this video and this right here is just an alternative, just in case you know the YouTube thing isn't working. So this would work if you have a uh, if you were if you wanted to go out and buy a capture card, if you got if you're just tired of all this, then um, this is how you would do that.
But you don't even need a capture card for the PS4. That's what I'm saying, because there's apps. What you want to do is copy the link from your YouTube chat box. And then paste that link on the URL. And then this is what it'll look like. And uh, you can actually customize this, make it transparent. Right now my stream is actually uh, probably private, so you can't even see the chat box. You gotta make sure your stream is public on YouTube in order to see the chat box on Streamlabs. So we're gonna, um, we're gonna go ahead and redo it. We're gonna go ahead and redo it. Browser, okay. Okay, paste it back into the URL, and it should just pop up right there. There it is. So that's the chat box, but you can actually make it transparent, just like uh, you can size it and whatnot. You can make it transparent. It won't look that uh, unfashionable, if that makes sense. And then uh, pretty much, you know, type in anything. It goes up right there. There's my comment, my comment in yellow. And you can, like, resize that with... um codes that you can easily find on the internet and um how i'm doing this without a capture card so what you'll want to do and my desktop is going to be completely unorganized but i'm going to show you my desktop i think i have to just click display capture is it yeah so you see this thing right here that says uh, PS4 Remote Play. You'll do you need a phone for this? I don't think. Well, well, I mean, like, no, you shouldn't need a phone to download the PS4 Remote Play app. But you'll need like a computer that's halfway decent. Like I have a one hundred dollar laptop, and it's able to do all this. So you should be good as long as uh, you look up the credentials on what this app takes, and then pretty much if you open that. So let's say, well, I don't even have to open it. This is what it'll look like, right? Uh, it's over here on a different screen. Like, I have two screens. Because uh, I use my television as a screen, because that's the reason I like streaming off the PS4. I mean, I mean, obviously, I don't I mean... Oh, wait, here it is right here. So here it is right here. It's like, you see, like, 50 different windows, though. But uh, it's pretty much as easy as this. Use this PC to enjoy your PS4 games. So you press options on the controller. Make sure your controller is plugged into your uh, computer like it has to be. That's how it recognizes everything without a capture card. And then make sure your uh, PS4 is connected to the internet. All I have to do is press options on the controller. And um, pretty much it's all synchronizing. And I'm not sure if you can see the screen yet on OBS. I'm sure you might be able to hear the game. Which is going to be laggy a little bit. Mainly because I just started it. So I'm going to delete that. Properties. So that's not really what it looks like. It's what it looks like right now because like it's like lagging. But if it's not lagging, then um, it'll look like it looked in the beginning. So, um... Pretty much that's how you do that. The reason why it's lagging for me, if you see the USB, my USB is really broken. Like, it's really, really broken. I got to get a new one. Um, and everything's free uh, whenever it comes to this app. Everything should be. It's just the computer that would cost money. So make sure, you're, I mean, make sure, you know, it's not some kind of network issue that's doing this. Because, uh, honestly, PlayStation, you never know. So, um... In time, this is like the third to fourth time this has happened with the PlayStation comments. It should fix itself, honestly, for everybody. Uh, there's ways to fix it, but it is not like you know it's 100% freaking certain um, that it's going to fix your thing. Um, and that's what sucks, because everybody wants a 100% fix. Uh, it did work with the restore licenses in the beginning. The first time all this happened, it did work. Second time, it didn't work and we had to wait. Third time, people were able to um, 
fix it. At least they're saying they're able to. Uh, I it didn't it never worked for me doing this, which is why I never made a guide for it. By unlinking your um your thing, your YouTube with to to your YouTube and then relinking it, you can try signing out of everything and then re-signing back in. I'm pretty sure you guys already tried that. So, um, that's pretty much it. That I mean, that's pretty much all the fixes that I can think of. There's probably more. Don't try the DNS one, the IP address one. No, I feel like it, uh, that's just not going to work. It, I think it, somebody said it worked for like five seconds two two or three years ago. Um, one person said that they've never been able to log back into their Twitch, which is really concerning. Um, a lot of people are telling me the text-to-speech thing isn't working, so I might make a guide for that. I think somebody else already did, which is why I didn't want to. I don't like I don't like copying off of people. That's I don't like doing that. Um, but but I might make the guide just because we got so much PlayStation content, and I'm going to be doing PlayStation Five stuff. So I see why why not. So, um, this is me, what's up, the guy that's been making these guides, um, if the PlayStation screen, you can also, uh, download, like, PlayStation screen on your phone or something that lets you do things, like, most of these apps you can download on your phone, easy way to see if, the, if it's a networking issue is you can check it on PlayStation network status, just type that in on Google and you can see the network status and see if that's what's causing the issue for the comments not working. YouTube and um, YouTube and PlayStation are like pretty much not saying who it is that's causing this problem. Pretty sure it's PlayStation, but then um, then they're, they're not saying who it is. You could call them up. You can chat with them, and uh, it, nothing will pretty much happen. It, I mean, it'll it'll do some good, but not much. Um, it'll definitely show them that they need to keep this service for the PlayStation Five. And there's a Ryzen chip on the PlayStation 5. And that's a streaming chip. Uh, easy to stream. So I would call them. Because that PlayStation 5 is uh, right around the corner. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to keep this. But uh, I would call them just in case. Because there's a lot of people that really want this uh, feature. Or, or that really enjoy this feature. Um... I wouldn't try, like, like a lot of people have been leaving comments on my thing saying the fix is to uh, um, terminate your whole hard drive or initialize it, and that's pretty much deleting everything on your hard drive. I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't do that. Just to figure out that that's a lie. Um... I wouldn't try. I wouldn't go out and buy another hard drive just for the PS4 just to test that. I didn't test it like that. If you guys are really willing to waste your money and uh, risk losing data, then you guys can try that. But I wouldn't try that. Um, just like I wouldn't try the uh, IP, internet, DNS, whatever. Um, restarting your uh, internet router. I don't think that's going to do anything because it's not on your end. It's on PlayStation's end. Again, buying a new PS4, I wouldn't do that, but I mean, you could try it. There's uh, with, buy, uh, with, with, with Fallout 4, one of my friends had to buy a new, a new uh, PlayStation 4 to get their data back because it wasn't saving. So, I mean, I mean, it's uh, these are the most. These are like five hundred dollar freaking um, fixes, so I wouldn't try that. I would, I'd be yelling at Sony uh, instead of buying some new stuff, save your money for the PS Five or whatever new game, whatever you feel like saving your money for. Don't do all that. But I'm just I'm just saying, like you know, some little mediocre. So so we could have all the fixes right here in one freaking video in one freaking video. Um, is that it? And some of these fixes might not work. Most of these fixes aren't going to work, guys. Um, because it's, it's really on Sony's end, and you really have to wait. Like I said, this is like the fourth time, fifth time, third time this has happened. And uh, pretty much it fixes for everybody after a month, and then it goes back down after three or four months. So you'll be right back here on this video, right back here on this video, right back here on my other videos. The other person that made a video like mine and get some clout. Do, do you owe me, um, that's pretty much it.
that's pretty much it, guys. I mean, I don't know. I mean, whenever PlayStation 5 comes out, what's going to happen to all these apps? What's going to happen to the streaming service on play, on PlayStation 4? That's the real question. That's the real question. Um, are you going to be able to stream forever, period? Um, I think that's what this is about, but that's just a theory. Like, I'm, now I'm just throwing out theories. Because whenever PlayStation, uh, you, you know, the Wii Shop channel just closed down a few a few weeks ago or months ago. So, I don't even think this service is going to be here. I think it's just going to move for every console. You know what I'm saying? Um, good news is that the PlayStation 5 is apparently going to be backwards compatible for the PlayStation 1 games, PlayStation 2 games, PlayStation 3 games, PlayStation 4 games. That's good news. Uh, so you won't have to buy new games. Um, a lot of new good news here. Um, so that's pretty much it. I could tell you the price of an Elgato capture card. Probably get that for about $100, 60 to $100, depending on where you're looking. Uh, so there's Those things can malfunction, too. Um... Really, the best thing that for streaming, which is why I don't know why consoles aren't doing this, except for the PS4 and, um, I mean they're starting to do it, but like, there really just needs to be an app for these consoles to be able to stream from. There really just needs to be an app because capture cards really, they do malfunction, they do break down, and they are they cost freaking money. They cost freaking money. Uh, I saw one for about $60. I saw a big YouTuber asking for an alternative to the Elgato capture card um, because it always malfunctions. And, um... And as you can see, with the double screen thing, it's, it even glitches out for me. But, I, again, look, look at my USB. I mean, let's see here. You didn't see that the first time. So look at my USB. Really, really janky. My, I probably just need a new USB. But... That's about it. These, these, like, legit, I don't think I can think of any more fixes. Um, I really don't. Um, you could try creating a new user on your PS4. I don't know, um. Uh, I don't think that'll work. You can try, actually, try create. I mean, this one, I don't know why I didn't try it before. Try creating a new user in a different country. And uh, seeing if that works. Like, I'm talking about out of the U.S., like New Zealand, uh, Japan, something like that. See if that works. That that would be the last the last thing you do. You had to create a new email address, but that's the final That'd be the final thing I think you'd be able to do. And I'm not even sure if that would work. Because yeah, then you're, you know, I, I don't know if that would, like, if Sony would terminate your PS4 if you did that. Uh, I mean, I've done it before, so. But, like, you know, they like knowing where people actually come from. So, that's about it. All the freaking fixes. That's all I got. That's all I got. Peace out. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit the bell to join the Pichero Squad for more updates, streams, reactions, videos like this, how to, um, etc. Thank you for watching.